Did you know that 90% of the harmful gases from refrigerators go into the atmosphere due to lack of treatment? They are known as fluorinated gases and are not only used in refrigeration and air conditioning systems, they are also used in fire extinguishers, solvents, aerosols, insulating foams and in the cosmetics and electronics industries. They emerged as the solution to a problem as they are better alternatives to former refrigerants responsible for ozone depletion but have ended up generating other major problems. Why should you be concerned about them? Because the global warming potential of these gases is up to 23,000 times higher than the carbon dioxide one. Moreover, they account for around 6% of the European Union's greenhouse gas emissions and if their use is not controlled, the increase of these emissions since 2005 could be almost 140% by 2020. Some of these gases can remain in the atmosphere for up to 50,000 years and if we don't do something to change it, fluorinated gases can cause almost half the effects of climate change by 2050. For this reason, and although European legislation regulates the phasing out of these gases, all of us, users, industry, waste managers and public administrations must be aware and act for their correct use, control and recycling and find feasible alternatives to mitigate climate change.